Praise the Lord, everyone. I have a short video that I want to do. I just wanted to give this a little bit of an update about uh, how things are going with uh, my search for a home church. I think I found a home church, although I'm not totally convinced. I've only been there a couple of weeks, so I'm not ready to, you know, join the church just yet. But uh, I'm, I've been going there. I feel pretty good about it. It's, uh, there's a lot of peace there. I get, uh, it seems like God is giving me a little bit of rest here. So I'm, uh, so far, so good on that. It's called Res Life. It used to be called Resurrection Life. I'm not sure why they went to Res Life. Maybe folks had a hard time with the word resurrection. I'm not sure, but it's called Res Life now. And it's a big church, and that, that's fine with me. I don't mind blending in with the crowd. But, you know, uh, there are some things that I've learned. And let me just say this. I, there's a lot of really good Bible believing Christians out there who are trying to live the life and walk the life and trying to be honest with themselves and 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 with other people. No one's perfect. Nobody can be perfect. I'm not, nor is anyone else. But you know, I've run into a lot of folks that, that I can think of as basically snakes within the church, and uh, so I've I've learned not to trust uh, too quickly. Uh, better not, you know. And in fact, a lot of times when I'm out on the street and I'm talking with the drunks and the drug addicts and the prostitutes and uh, the varieties of folks that I would encounter out there, I find a better connection with them than, than I do with with most people or probably anyone that I've ever met in a church. Now, I know there's good people out there. I'm not trying to say that everyone in the church is, is bad. That's not the case. Most people are good. But there's... but. I've come to the point where I just don't know who to trust. I mean, you have encounters with folks um, that, uh, you know, I'll tell you this. Be because of what I've gone through over the past several years, I will never give or put in an offering anything with my name attached to it. I'll never, you know, do online giving. I'll never write a check. I'll never write my information on an envelope. I'll never attach my name to any giving. I'll put, I'll put cash in the envelope and I just, I'll just leave it blank. Now, I don't need my name attached to any giving. Multiple situations where folks, whether they were authorized in one case, not authorized to access the computer, but they had access to it because they were working in the church. They had other responsibilities within the church so that they were there when other people were not there. And they used that access to find out about uh, my giving because they were concerned that I didn't have a job or whatnot. Um, see, sometimes when you hear from God as often as I do, and I go through these phases where I I hear from God all the time, multiple times a day, day after day after day. And then I, I go through some times when I, I don't really hear much from God at all. A lot of that's got to do with with me. Sometimes I get myself out of alignment and that's what happens. But, um, you know, so I, I don't want to deal with that. Another instance where an individual thought that uh, was... Uh, Maybe I was trying to act like I made more money than I did or something like that. Or I don't know what his problem was. This guy, from the first time I met this guy, seemed demonic to me. But it, 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 I don't want my name attached to any giving. I don't trust church folks enough for that. Um, there's other things that I won't do is that unless the Lord reveals to me directly that he wants me to get involved with the church ministry or a small group or something like that within the church unless I hear from God about that I won't get involved with anything like that I'll, I'll show up for church and I'll uh, gather together with um, up with other believers like the Bible tells me to but when it comes to ministry I'm going to focus on the things that God gave me to do and I'm going to do my street ministry and I'll do these little videos and and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll operate in the prophetic gift wherever I go, which is, which is part of my ministry. A lot of times the Lord uses this prophetic gift in, not in the church. 
sometimes in the church, but more times than not, it's not in the church. So I see that my calling isn't necessarily connected to a church. So I actually like that because I'm, I, I think that it's, it's just, it's better for me. So unless the Lord directs, I, I, I'm not going to have anything to do with um, being involved in any kind of church ministry. Um, you know, and uh, another thing out there too is that I've encountered in several situations where you have what I call snakes in the church. And these are folks that uh, have special kind of demon spirits. Well, they they think it's it's okay for them to uh, uh, to link your phone and to monitor your life or to look at what you do online. And there's apps out there that will allow you to do that. I've never done it. The Lord has revealed to me that I should never do it and that he... He counts it like witchcraft. He says there are some things where it's allowed. Um, if you're a parent, you have minor children, you're, you know, you're monitoring you know, your kids' um, at, uh, online activity, it's, it's allowed. See, a, par a, a parent is allowed to control their child. Okay? But if you, if you apply that in situations where it's, it's not... Um, is, is not okayed by God. It's called witchcraft. So these people are operating in witchcraft. And there is some element too. If you're an employee and your boss is monitoring your phone while you're at work, while you're being paid, if they go beyond that, man, yeah, it's witchcraft. It's just, it's just what it is. Now, <laughs> so, but folks in the church are doing that. In one case, it was, I was going to uh, a, the Assemblies of God uh, School of Ministry. And the Lord told me not to bring my phone because they're going to hack my phone there. And I just used the word hack because I don't know what else word. I've never, I don't know if it's linking to my phone or whatever they do. It's all, it's all um, foreign to me. So I don't know what word to really use there. I just call it hack. But so that they would do that there. And they do that there. And because um, God likes to speak out of my mouth, I, I did that. The Lord spoke out of my mouth in many of these, of these meetings that I went to, and apparently that riled folks up there, especially those within the leadership of that school. And they walked right up to me and asked me where I, where I lived. I said, I live in Grand Rapids, which is a couple hours away from the school. And, uh, the, you know, they thought that I was hacking their stuff. See, that's the weird thing. Thing. These people were, were school of ministry leadership. These people in a Pentecostal church, they can't recognize the gifts of the Holy Spirit because they got so much darkness attached to this witchery that they're practicing. It's better to fast and pray and to hear from God than to use the tools of this world and the devil to operate within the church. It's utterly ridiculous. The same thing happens in the churches. One couple who are doing this are related to the pastors of the church. I'm still not convinced, nor do I know if the pastors are aware of it. It's just something that they uh, are doing to investigate their congregation or if it's being done without their knowledge. I don't know that. The Lord didn't reveal that. But the fact is that this is going on in the church. It makes me more comfortable around the bums than in the church. So that's not, you know, that's it's um but the church I'm going to now seems good. The people around me seem good. And if things are going on there bad, I, I honestly hope the Lord doesn't even tell me about it. Sometimes I, I, I say, you know, you just ruined this for me. You told me all the stuff that's going on here and you know, it's <laughs> it's it's making it hard on me. So I don't know, I thought I would uh you know, I'd put that out there and uh and just let y'all know, so whoever watches my video, that I'm going to Res Life now. And uh, I'm hoping that 
and praying that things are peaceful there and that, uh, and that I can go there and enjoy the presence of God in peace. And with that, I'll end this video. Praise the Lord until next time.